What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and uh, we were going to talk a little behind enemy lines, but of course, we've got a little bit of Eagles news first to get to. So later tonight, I will be doing that. We'll be breaking down the Minnesota Vikings roster, uh, but I hope you'll tune in. Appreciate you taking the time, though, right now, whether you're watching this live or later. Let me hear your thoughts, comments, whatever it is. Have any questions? I'd love to hear it. But let's jump right into this. So we knew Derek Barnett's season was over. He was going to be placed on IR. That opened up another roster spot. So we have two. So we talked about how do the Eagles replace Derek Barnett yesterday. And we talked about, you know, maybe randomly some guy off the practice squad, some other team, maybe this, that, the other thing. We heard a lot of wild things about. You know, defensive tackle switching to outside linebacker. I know uh, a lot of different things, but we talked about you need somebody that fits that mold. And that is what the Eagles just went ahead and did. So Derek Barnett placed on IR and they went out, took Janarius Robinson off of the Minnesota Vikings practice squad. So when you take someone from the practice squad, you have to put them on your active roster. So he is now a part of our active roster. And you know, this is the perfect mold, what we're looking for. A fourth round pick last year didn't really pan out in Minnesota. They've got some edge rushers there, so we'll see if we can find something from them. But didn't have any stats in Minnesota, so I threw up his Florida State stats. A 23-year-old kid, he played one year. We talked about 6'5", 260 pounds. So he's a big, tall dude, but a little skinnier mold fits perfectly what you're trying to do here. But again, a fourth round pick last year. At Florida State, played in 34 games, 104 tackles, eight sacks, 20 and a half tackles for loss. So the kid has talent. I remember watching him at Florida State. He, again, was an undrafted prospect. This is a kid, or I'm sorry, he was an undrafted kid in my mind after this year because of what you look at. When you're comparing Josh Schwett to some of these kids that come out of Florida State, nobody's going to reach that. And I thought that he was intriguing, but he was a fourth round pick. And I think he was on the practice squad for a reason. Um, so look, uh, he's got talent, but I think it's a certain scheme that they're looking for. And the Vikings play three, four. So we're using multiple schemes. So, Hey, he just didn't pan out. Maybe we can make something work there for him. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, Teron Jackson's the guy that's going to be getting more reps at defensive end but when you're running odd fronts i think you'll see this kid if you were to need that you have him so we shall see how he pans out but let's take a look at the updated edge rushers now for the eagles so these are the guys that are playing the defensive end and the outside linebacker in those schemes so we talk about sweat and graham holding it down we have barnett as that third uh, you know de3 that's beautiful but again he gets hurt of course so this blows. I hate to see it because you're hoping, you know, as a depth piece, he really could have brought something to the table. But look, he goes down. It is what it is. Teron Jackson now has to step it up. Now, Teron, I don't think he was as suited as Barnett. Well, let's just say far along in that sense. So I think that Jackson has a ways to go, but I'm perfectly fine with this. Look, we still have Sweat and Graham there as the top two guys. I think Jackson and Robinson, they'll be able to, you know, compete with each other, try to push each other, hopefully, you know, get something going. But you look at this defensive line. We talked about the interior defensive linemen. Then you talk about those Sam linebackers. So you've got depth still at all those other positions. The only thing you were missing out here was the third guy in that rotation of edge rushers. So, uh, look, I, I think a lot of people, it was really weird. You know, nobody wanted to resign him, but then all of a sudden it was like, we lost our best player. Now we got to change guys that are starters and make them the third defensive end. I no, uh, no, no. So go ahead. Eagles. Let's go. Jackson time to step it up all about it, baby. So Tehran time, coastal Carolina, go get you some fine with it for now. Yeah. So defensive end three, uh, really not a huge position to fill, but I think one thing I've talked about for a while, though, is the fact that even with what you have, maybe you add to this rotation regardless of Derek Barnett. So, uh, look, I wouldn't be against adding a you know killer pass rusher, but I like Sweat. I like Reddick, so I'm not sure. I think Jonathan Gannon just needs to use the right personnel and get his head out of his ass, and then we're heading in the right direction. I don't think it's really about adding more because we've got rotation. You saw the edge rusher rotation there. You've got four guys. You've got three guys on the other side with – both the Johnson guys backing up, you know, Kyron and Patrick to Hassan Reddick. So I'm okay. I think this, uh, a lot of people overreacting to that. And look, I like Derek Barnett as the third edge rusher. That's awesome. But it is what it is. 
He is now out for the season. So Janarius Robinson step right up and Teron Jackson, of course. But I hope you're all having yourselves a great day. I will be back later. We're going behind enemy lines. We're going to learn everything about the game, about the coaches, about the roster, their depth chart, their additions, losses, draft picks, all that stuff you want to know. I'm going to talk about it in a little while tonight. So I have that show almost ready. So hopefully around 8, 8.30, I'll be doing that. But you can always subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And uh, like apparently you can become a member now, what you guys were talking about yesterday. I got a thing in the email today. So cool. Uh, but I appreciate each and every one of you for your support. I have no clue what any of this stuff is, but I am definitely trying to figure it all out. But I appreciate each and every one of you taking the time, your comments, uh, liking, subscribe, whatever you're doing. I truly appreciate you. Hey, I really appreciate that. SFF, yo, man, you have yourself a fantastic night. I'll be back in a little while. Made 3,000 graphics the last couple of days, so uh, it's going to be a, an intriguing one. But uh, I hope you will all tune in. If you guys need anything, you know you can always reach out, whether it's about the birds, life, whatever it is. Always down to talk with you guys. Uh, so stay safe out there. I'm Jimmy Smith. This has been On the Road to Victory. And as always, go birds!